joy is but an occasional episode in the whole drama of life. This soul speaking to you has seen nothing but pain, sorrow, and grief. Gentle mutilation. They call it circumcision. A sorry show of man's gross inhumanity to man. It all started when I was 16 years old in my little village, Emede, an Isoko town in today Delta State. I was in secondary class three, so determined a teenager. I was full of ideas and dreams for the future. But little did I know how far our customs, traditional beliefs and practices would shape the sad tale of my life. to do it. I'm afraid they know. Don't you see the way they do it? A child no God forbid. Don't you remember the last one they did? Ah, ah. That one they say was part of. Yes. I remember now. You know she died. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I know she died of malaria all the way. Why? That is what they always say, wicked people. Nana caught her in the wrong place. The bleeding was too much. She couldn't bear it. And she died. Oh no, for my informer. Who told you? Come. Come, come, come. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe so that other guests don't get the story. Oh my god. If only I had a place to run to. I don't know. 
And what get to so long? I was washing clothes. And you had to do that for the whole of the day, eh? Mama, I have a lot of clothes to wash now. I, your clothes Argue with me, you yeah. Argue with me, you hear? You can never come and beat me. Beat me! Peter, you are here, you are here, you are your father on the way. No. He waited for you the whole of the day to follow him to the farm. You know quite well that we need some yams for tomorrow's festival. Hello, Eme. What are you saying? Nothing, Mama. Nothing, eh? Have you forgotten that the ceremony starts tomorrow and that you are one of the girls? Yes, you. You? Are you just hearing that for the first time? Or something is wrong with this, your, your head? Not me, Mama. Never. You will not do what? All your mates that do it. Who do you think they are? Who for ma? Efe. Even Ake, your other sister. Do you think you are better than all of them? Yes, Mama. But that thing is wicked. I don't even know why they do it. Hello. Yaze. Yaze, me tipo where Yaze come and sit down. I know you are a good girl. Girl. Mm -hmm. Mama, your father must not hear about what you just said. Uh, let him hear. Let him hear. Hello. It is absolutely necessary for every girl your age to take part in the circumcision rite. So that when we eventually get married, you will not have the urge to go from one man to the other. Who's bringing shame to the family? Do you understand? Mm. I know you do understand. Mm. Eh? Yes, Mama. Mm -hmm. But this is not the only way. Sure. Mm. Look, hello. It is the only way. Mm. And we have no right to question tradition. It has been happening from the beginning. And it will continue to happen. Mama, I will not do it. You will not do what? I will not do it though. You will do it, my dear. You will be circumcised. Mama. You have no choice. Mama, no. Eh. I will not do it though. I didn't sleep that night. Because my father had beaten me thoroughly when he came back. My heart thumbed like that of a caged animal. But I convinced myself there was no way I would be part of that dastardly act.
Mama, hello. Mama, hello. Where is your daughter? I've searched for her too. I've searched everywhere. You have searched for her? Yes. Woman, you and your daughter, you want to disgrace me in this village? No, no how can I? How can I? What? What are you doing with this? Find that girl. Find that girl before I come back. Or else? I guess my disappearance must have caused some confusion in my family and village. But I didn't care. for me in vain but I was far far gone goat. Then I remembered my mother's sister who lived in Lagos. She was the only one I thought would understand. <laughs> Why not? She was enlightened, not like those back in the village. I had money I'd saved, barely enough for my transport. But somehow, I managed to get to Auntie Franca's house in Lagos.
Be who is here? Ah. Who is in office? Hello. What is wrong? Nothing. What's the problem? Who is Nancy? Nothing. Why are you here? No, nothing, Nancy. Did you come alone? Yes. Eh? Yes. What about Mama? They are fine. And Papa? They are fine. Why are you looking so unkept? Come, take your things. I hope everything is alright. Nancy, there's no problem. Come, come, come. come. Yeah, 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 yeah. graduate to hold on tight to such callous tradition. No help came from her husband, a practicing medical doctor. Helpless is putting it mildly, but I held on to my vow not to go through that ordeal.
I was now between the devil and the deep blue sea. I was entirely on my own, with no one to turn to and nowhere to go. But one thing was ever in my mind. No matter what was ahead of me, I was not going back.
Became strengthened when I learned of your resolve not to be, not to be ruined by that act of circumcision. Unlike you, I had nowhere to run to. I didn't even have the guts to do it. Circumcision ruined me. Thank you. 
Oh. How I got here, ladies and gentlemen, is a very long story. Perhaps I should just say, Margaret is miracle personified. She was my savior. After I escaped those rapists, had passed out out of fear and fatigue, when I came around, I found myself in hospital. On the second day, this very sweet lady came. Her name is Margaret Henshaw. She was a social worker. I told her my story and she took me in. She had been a victim herself. She believes that female circumcision is wrong and had vowed to fight the costs. In short, Margaret is God sent. She undertook to see me through the rest of my secondary school education. And from then on, she became my mentor, my inspiration, and my mother, so to say. proud of you now. That is if they've not concluded that you're dead. I wrote them last month to tell them that I'm fine. Really? Yes. But I purposely didn't put the address. Not a stop full of you. Anyway, don't let's be married. Why don't you get some drinks? This calls for celebration. Yes! <laughs> Sweet child.
I am sorry. I need you to be more careful. Please, please. I need you to take you out of here like that. I am deeply sorry. I'll take you wherever you go. Come on, I'll take you wherever you go. We can't even. We're going to the campus. We can't even go this way now. We have to go and change. I will take you wherever you go. What do you think? Wherever you come from. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I hope it's all right. Come on, I hope you know what you're doing. At least if it's to go and to change. Please, please. How I miss Auntie, Auntie Margaret's presence here. Yeah, she would have been the most oh, where is she? happy person. Again. Well, she had to go to Sierra Leone for this um, the Red Cross thing, you know. But of course, she'll see the pictures when she gets back. Okay, the most right. important sure thing is that we did this. Yes. And she'll be so happy about it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <coughs> You're late. I'm sorry. I was caught up in the traffic. <laughs> Are you ready now? Um, almost. I'll just freshen up and I'll join you. I'll be at the reception. Okay, dear. <laughs> There was anything called happiness until I met Henry on that fateful day in my third year in the university. <sighs> Henry was a perfect gentleman. He was so loving, so, so caring. He made me forget my past. He helped me secure this job after my graduation. In fact, Henry simply revealed a new meaning to life for me. Love has not been fair to me. God is hate and rejection from the people at the Is 
to marry him when he proposed to me. Two weeks later, we proceeded to my village for proper introduction. everybody does because of that small matter. <laughs> Mama, let's not talk about that. I'm here now. I'm back. <laughs> That's okay, Mama. Where's Peter, Papa? <laughs> Stop 
so glad. So glad. Right. So right. Hello, who are these people? This is my mother. Good day, Mama. You're welcome, my son. This is Henry's brother. Good day, Mama. Good day, Mama. You're welcome, mm -hmm. my son. This is the man I want to marry, Mama. He came for the traditional marriage ceremony. Anyway, I know it's going to be very difficult, but I'll see what I can do. I will try my best. You are welcome, my son. Let's go inside. everybody does because of that small matter. <laughs> Mama, let's not talk about that. I'm here now. I'm back. That's okay, Mama. Where's Peter and Papa? <laughs> eh? Mama, your father. I'm not a widow. <laughs> My husband fell from the tree and died. I want to marry Mama. 
he came for the traditional marriage ceremony. Marriage? Anyway, I know it's going to be very difficult. But I'll see what I can do. I'll try my best. You are welcome, my son. Let's okay. go inside. Okay. In this village, no. So, woman, you have gathered the elders of this family to insult us. Mm. Yeah. Um, my brother, your husband died, and your daughter was nowhere to mourn him. And now you want us to give her out in marriage. We will not do that. Don't remind me of the past, please. Mama, I am disappointed in you. What have I done? How can you conspire with strangers to defile our tradition? Why? No one can ever be forgiven. In short, Onara, you people have wasted your time coming here today. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. We cannot give our blessing to any marriage until the right thing is done the right way. Yes. But we have brought all that is required. Oh, yes. Is there anything that is left? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes. The most important thing is left. Mm. What, yeah. what is it? That girl ran away 10 years ago because she wanted to defy tradition. She defied it. She refused to be circumcised. And until that is done, we cannot give her out in marriage. Do you understand? Elder. Yes. Elder ones. Um, look, I do not care about this circumcision thing. Huh? I want to marry her. That is all I care about. <laughs> ah. Then let her do what she must do. She must be circumcised. Circumcised! Yes! Young man. Come. Nyazi, 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 Nyazi. They say you are a doctor. Uh, <laughs> no. I am a lawyer and a businessman. Uh -huh. A lawyer and a businessman. <laughs> a lawyer and a businessman. And you do not know what tradition is. Tell him. <laughs> tradition is law. Wow. And this is our own village law. Uh. Or do you not have customs and tradition in your own village? Maybe they don't have. Maybe they come from the moon. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. George, have you seen? If he had done and listened to me, if he had done what we asked him to do, he would not even ask me. But this is the Hey, wait. Wait. Uh, Elder, mm -hmm. is there nothing else we can do? Our people say that the cockroach... No way! There is nothing we can do. So long as that girl is not circumcised, she will go jumping from one man to the other. And we cannot be a party to such marriage. Do you understand? No. Uh, uh, have you seen it? Hey, Jiro, I have to. I, have to. I, I am going to have you. I have, I have no more time to wait here. Please go, Elda. 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 Henry have listened to me. If you had sought my advice, you would have been answered. Imagine the insult. I can't believe. I can't believe this circumcision nonsense still exists. Henry, there is nothing you can do about it. It is their tradition. Damn their bloody tradition. <laughs> uh, come, Henry. Wait. Why don't you forget about this girl? Forget about this girl. After all, there are several other beautiful girls you can marry from our place. Of course! And for all you know, there must be something. I believe it is unheard of for the girl's family to refuse to give her out in marriage. I've never seen. The girl must have sold her because marriage. Yes. If you say that nonsense about Elo again, I will deal with you. Henry! Yes! You will end up, brother. Leave him! If I am not accompanying this fool, to that house, house. Matthew, please, 
We went ahead and got married. No doubt, that was the happiest day of my life. It was low key, but that didn't matter. What mattered most to us was the way we felt for each other. I could see a bright new future with the love of my life. So, I made a decision to completely forget about my past. Life at this stage, it couldn't be sweeter. More so when God finally answered my prayers. I became pregnant. Henry was overjoyed. What more could a woman ask for? At about the seventh month, I became somewhat sick. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. 
then grapes. Let me get this into the kitchen. Okay. And I'll be back now. Hey, hey, your drink. Harry took over virtually all domestic chores. He cared for me, fussed all over me, nursed me like a baby. I didn't lack anything at all. for it, but certainly not prepared for what happened after.
After a few days in hospital, we were ready to go home. Our son was in perfect health. A carbon copy of my husband. He was overwhelmed and trust him. He provided everything. and blunted by this hollow dream-like feeling. I hoped to wake up from this ugly dream to see Henry by my side, cuddle our baby together. God, Henry, why do this to me? Why didn't you take me along? 
Why make me a living ghost? Up till this moment, I have not seen my husband's body, nor touched my baby who miraculously survived the accident. Nobody has told me anything. I don't even know the burial arrangements. I don't know what my fate would be as I proceed to the village. I 
from your husband's body. Drink it! Your own husband. If you say you did not kill him, then drink this to prove it. Uh -huh. This is the tradition here in our community. Yes. Hey, young woman. My dear woman. Uh, we want you to live the rest of your life peacefully. Drink it. Are you ready now? No, are you ready now? I want to speak to her. She was drink it She will. I told Henry to marry this culture, but he just me out of his house. Now you see it. Have you seen it? You can say what you like, but I'm not drinking this poison. Huh? Yeah. What? what? Ah. All right. We shall see. Hold it. Hold it. My dearly beloved ones, let us observe a minute of silence. And can I rest, grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on him. May the souls of Henry and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest and perfect peace. Amen.
Lord. You don't know what it means to be a widow. Yes. Now I know, Mama. And this is certainly beyond my imagination. This is crude. This is wicked. This is inhuman. This is brutal. Just think of this. I had my baby cry every night, yearning for me to suckle him, but I couldn't. My breast became heavy and painful because I couldn't have access to my baby. Their reason? My witch will kill the baby too. Two days after the burial, I hadn't had a bath. They locked me in that ash-covered room, since, according to them, I was a defiled woman. Imagine a man like Matthew wanting to inherit me as wife. God forbid. I would rather stay married to my son. Three weeks after Henry's burial, I left for Lagos with my baby. Nina had left days earlier. Even Matthew and wife had left too. I needed my sanity back after those three grueling weeks in Henry's village. I needed to sit down and plan my future. I needed to bring up my baby. What is 
Now listen to me. These are just the few things you left and you have in this house. I am a good Christian. And I don't take what does not belong to me. Just go on your own. When the child grows up, we will look for something. Come on, come on. I could have gone mad watching my possessions and my future evaporate into thin air. But I remembered Henry and picked up courage. I refused to be broken. Through the dark tunnel, through thick and thin, here I am today. As you all ponder over my experience, I enjoin you to be strong and brave. This is not a question of feminism, no. It is a question of cleansing society. A question of getting rid of those obnoxious and barbaric practices to debase womanhood and mankind in general. Cries cannot stop it. Self-pity cannot either. I'm sure that the gentleman, none of the gentlemen here, deep down in his heart, would like his daughter, wife, and sister to be dehumanized, traumatized. Still, we seem helpless because it is our custom and tradition. It is culture. Indeed, it is culture. But of what essence it is? It takes people, human beings like you and myself to liberate society from bondage. We Africans have come of age. Culture is dynamic and I believe we're a dynamic people. I agreed to be here today so that you and you and you will know and not be a victim of this socio-cultural gang up against Mother Africa. Before I step down, I would like to introduce to you my one and only Henry Jr. Feelings back, 